For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. On September 9th, around 1,000 graduate student employees at the University of Michigan commenced a strike. They are organizing the strike against the dangerous health and work conditions under which they have been forced to return to campus. The members of the University of Michigan Graduate Employee Organization, or the GEO, voted in favor of the strike on September 7th. The strike which began on Tuesday will go on for four days and will culminate in a walkout over the weekend. The administration responded coldly stating that the state laws don't permit striking and the university will continue its operations. Having lots of people living together in close proximity will increase the likelihood of an outbreak. And it doesn't just affect students, it will spread to the rest of the community. I'm really here at the protest for my students. I want to make sure um, that they're safe. The GEO is demanding improved testing and contact tracing, a universal right to work remotely without documentation, a care subsidy for parents and caregivers, a $2,500 unconditional emergency grant, and rent freezes. The strike comes amid the nationwide back-to-school policy on college and university campuses as well as K-12 schools. The policy will place the lives of millions at stake. Under the policy, more than 50 million K-12 students and more than 20 million college students are being forced to return to school. Since reopening colleges and universities in late summer, more than 51,000 positive cases have been documented across the United States. At the University of Michigan, there have been 58 positive cases in the last two weeks alone. At least five deaths have been unofficially reported as well. Yeah, 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 yeah,